told you there is a football club nestled in the far northern reaches of Cumbria in England that all Celtic fans should support. I'm sure if you ask a lot of Celtic fans, who's your favourite English club? Most of them would say Liverpool or Man United, maybe more recently, Man City, Chelsea, or Newcastle, potentially Arsenal as well. Um, but how many of you have heard of Cleeter Moore Celtic? Yes, there is a small non-league English Celtic nestled away in the far reaches of England. I'm going to take you there today, hopefully, we've got a long trip ahead of us and there is apparently a pitch inspection, please go ahead game, or if I can't get to the game, please just let me have a look around the stadium, Cleeter more people, um, I've been meaning to do this video for ages, every time I set off, there's some weather condition that means I cannot go or the game gets called off, um, so fingers crossed, hit that like button, we're on the motorway, I'm going to take you down to England and we're going to watch the English non-league Celtic play. Crouching down right now, just like beneath the uh, back bumper of my car, just so I can try and block a little bit of the wind for you guys. The game is cooled off. The cursed season continues. I cannot tell you how many things have gone wrong this year for me, but I do wonder, look at the um, location that we're in right now. And um, if you're watching this video, then I would have been down to the stadium and spoke to one or two people from the club. Um, so yeah, hopefully we've actually we're actually gonna get inside at this point. I don't really know what I'm gonna be doing, but let's hope we do get in and have a little bit of a tour anyway. But yeah, just look at where I am on a map right now. Um, I wonder if the name Celtic comes from Irish people coming across from the Irish Sea to this part of England. Obviously we are on the west coast um, of England, of Britain, Cumbria here. Um, so I do imagine that much like Liverpool and Glasgow, a lot of Irish people would have come um, and settled this area. Speaking of this area, we have a stone circle. How many football clubs have stone circles within um, sort of touching distance of them? I think we're a couple of miles away, maybe just through there somewhere, but I mean, look at the views around here. Look at that, that is beautiful. But we have a stone circle. I wonder how it got here. In the comment section below, let me know how you think this stone circle came to be. And we've made it. This might be the most middle of nowhere place I've ever had to come to for a ground hopping video, which I guess it has now turned out to be or like a stadium tour video, I suppose. No game on today, there should have been. However, yes, it is uh, because of the weather, apparently a waterlogged pitch. Look, it's a beautiful day. So it is sad to see um, that it has been called off. But look at the badge, Celtic fans, Cleetermore Celtic Football Club. And look at this. We have like three versions of the badge. This is the more modern one, I think, but look how similar it is to Celtics. It used to have like a three leaf clover, now it's a four. And look at this, McGrath Park, the stadium, Celtic Clubhouse opened 31st of October 2003 by Jim Craig, Lisbon Lion. You guys go Celtic, there you go. I'm Dean White, I'm the second team coach here at Clinton Moore Celtic. And it's an amazing view and the park as well. And from what I can work out, was it opened by a Celtic legend, the clubhouse? Y yes, I, can't, I, I wouldn't have an answer for you, but yes, I believe it was. Is there it's quite a few links now. between yourselves and Celtic then? Um, yeah, I mean, we, we used to go up there and play, um, we played a team called Blantyre Celtic up there. When I did the first team, we had friendlies with them. Um, and a lot of our lads go and watch Celtic up there, so there is yep. a bit of a connection up there. Oh nice, do you know about the formation of the club and was it like due to a... Oh, well I've been here, this is my 13th year here and um, this has always been here, it, it, it was sort of opened in 2005. Oh, yeah, 1908, so it's had. Okay. I joined a couple of years after its 100th anniversary. Yep. Um, all of this has been been done. When I first got here, this was just mud. Yeah. <laughs> now, now it's it's up to this. So so yeah, it's 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 been a, a big part of my life. Up nice. Yeah, it looks good. And so the formation, uh, the club right now. Then, what division of the first team in? So the first step? team uh, in the Northwest Counties League, which is Step Six. 
Um, it's a really good standard. Obviously, a lot of the travelling is down Manchester, Liverpool, yeah. down that way. Um, and obviously, they have to come come up here. But the standard's really good. I think this is our fourth season now in, in the league. So uh, the aim is to stay in the league. So we've got a lot of youth teams up here. And obviously, the second team feeds the first team. So that's the yeah. plan. Um, so what would be the ambition for the club then? Just to move up the divisions? Or I suppose you're so like isolated here, aren't you? It must yeah. be really hard to think <clears throat> that far ahead. And you've got to be, be careful what you wish for. Because obviously, step five it would require changes to the ground and it's all about money and funding so yeah. what we've got now is great and if we can sustain this great if step five is the next challenge then there'll be some other stuff we need to do before before then so scott carson was here would you say he's one of the biggest names to have played here probably the baby of the chef he started out here, didn't he? Whitehaven, he's from, I think. Just up the road. He was born in Whitehaven. He played my lad. Yeah. Brothers. Champions League winner. Champions League winner. So that's a Hibs shirt there. Tony Kidd. He played for Hibs, Newcastle. I was a goalkeeper as well. Oh, OK, right. And he played Before, here as well. So he played here. Yep. He came from here. Yeah. That's him there. For That's him there. Oh yeah, and Hibs it says there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, it looks like the Wembley Arch is over Cleeton Moors Stadium today. Look at that. A rainbow looking like the Wembley Arch. Don't you love it? So this whole area was settled by miners um, back in the Iron Ore Age, I do believe someone was just telling me inside. And it was these miners from Ireland who came and settled that gave this whole area the nickname Little Island. I suppose this was 100 or so years ago now, maybe even more. And it was those miners who set up this football club. How many football clubs have we looked at in the past that were set up by miners? Um, one that comes to my Glen Buck Cherry Pick as the team um, of obviously the Shankly brothers and who they played for. But this is another one a team that were originally made by Irish miners who came over to Britain. I suppose it may have been part of Britain at that time, Ireland, but came over to England anyway to get jobs in the mines. But I've got something to show you. The Miners Monument. Here we go, who it was by and who it's dedicated to and commissioned by Cleetmore Town Council in honour of the mining community who helped to grow this town. These statues here in and around me are to commemorate those miners and yeah look you can see there a shovel and a pickaxe I suppose and like a hand I take it that is um, what does that say there I think will and work iron ore it says up there as well that's what they were they were mining I take it this abstract thing here this abstract piece of art structure is a miner that looks obviously like a miner's face with a light on his helmet and then here we have another hand um, I guess to commemorate the working hands of the people um, in order to build this place up into what it is today. The small town in the middle of nowhere um, that has a football club that has so many links to Celtic, doesn't it? It was opened by a Lisbon Lion. It has all the Celtic memorabilia in there and it also had Scott Carson who played there. Um, as a young lad and who went on to win the Champions League for Liverpool. All right, he didn't play in the final, but he played, I think, the quarterfinal, didn't he, against Juventus, I seem to remember. Um, I think he's at City now, isn't he, as, a, as an older player, like one of their um, English quota players you have to have. A lot of teams do have, like, older English goalkeepers, I suppose, um, which is funny. And he obviously started out his playing days at, uh, at Cleeton Moor. But, yeah, look, this is it. Small little ex-mining town here out in the sticks at least they've got a greg's you may be able to see over there okay they don't have a greg's it's shut and apparently it's moved elsewhere um so yeah sorry to the people of cleetamore your greg's are shut down geez the weather outside is horrific no wonder this one was um called off today at least i got a video out of it i'm glad it wasn't a wasted trip like I've mentioned a lot recently, this season has been cursed for me. Um, what if so much has gone wrong with my plans, whether that be train strikes, weather, illnesses, um, the Queen's 
passing, like just so many things have cancelled so many of my plans. Look at this hail right now, it's crazy. But yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, a look at a small club, the English Celtic, if you will. Um, Celtic fans, have you ever heard of this club? Have you ever been to see a game here? If not, do you think you ever will? Um, I suggest you do. Seem like a really, really nice welcoming club. So I'm gonna have to come back for a game at some point myself. So maybe we can set up a friendly between them and like Camberslang Rangers and call it the non-league old fan derby. Um, or something along those lines. Anyway, please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe if you knew. It'd really, really mean a lot for me to see your face around here a little bit more often. I'll leave some videos on screen if you could click on one to carry on watching. How about this one here? How about this one over there? They look good, don't they? These two videos that are on screen right now. Please click on one. It'd really, really make me happy. Cheers and goodbye.